How's it going guys? This is Mark with At Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how you can control any smart home device with Siri. Now, a few years ago, Apple introduced HomeKit and the Home app on the iPhone. With HomeKit compatible devices, you could finally use Siri to control smart home devices. That's something you've been able to do for a long time already with Google Home and Amazon Assistant devices, but it was finally on iOS. The only problem with that is that very few devices actually rolled out support for HomeKit. We're still left with very few devices that you can actually use along with Siri. Google Home and Amazon Echo devices are very popular now, so it's not a huge issue, but what if you want to use your phone or your HomePod? Well, we got two solutions in this video to show you how to do that. So the first solution I have for you is to use IFTTT and their web hooks. We've made a video on how to do that before, so definitely check that video out. Not only can you control IFTTT compatible smart devices, but you can trigger IFTTT um, actions to work as well. So check that video, it's out right up there, and you can see how to do that. Now the second method I have for you is using Google and the Google Assistant. A couple of requirements for this one is that you need to have a smart home device that's compatible with Google Assistant. You also need a Google Assistant device, so whether that's a Google Home Mini, Google Home Max, a Nest Hub, whatever it is, it has to work with Google Assistant. And we'll also need the Google Assistant app along with our iOS device. So we'll go ahead, take our device, set it up, connect it to the internet, and add it to your Google Assistant. Import all that. You can find other videos on information on how to do that. But once we've got all that up and running, we'll go ahead and download the Google Assistant app on our iPhone. Now we will go ahead and open up the Google Assistant app on our iPhone. And what we'll do is we'll have it trigger that specific action that we want Siri to be able to do. So I have a charging station, which is right off camera, that's using one of these plugs. And I will tell the Google Assistant to trigger that action. I'll tell it to turn on the charging station. Say you want to be able to do something like open up your garage door, then you would tell it to do that. So whatever you want to be able to add to Siri, you tell it right here. So we'll go ahead and click the microphone. I'll tell it what to do. Turn on the charging station. And there you go. It just turned it on right there. And now it has triggered that action. So what we'll want to do is go home and open up settings. Then from there, we'll go ahead and scroll down all the way until we find our Google Assistant. Then we'll click on Siri and shortcuts and then shortcuts. Now it's going to have whatever you've added previously to that list and it's also going to have suggestions and those suggestions are actually actions that you've triggered using the Google Assistant app. That's why you need to tell it first before you can actually go ahead and do it here. So right here it has a recent one and it says turn on the charging station. So we'll click that plus and this will bring up the action to add our Siri shortcut. We can tell it to do whatever we want. I will just say turn on the charging station turn on the charging station. And there you go. It is now recorded. We'll click done. I will go back here and I'll go ahead and turn that off. And it is off over there. So now I will go ahead and open up Siri and tell it to do that action. Turn on the charging station. And then it will go ahead and open up the Google Assistant app and it will perform that action as if I talked to it already. And then there you go. It is now on, you can't see it, but it even says right there on. It has triggered that action. And you can do this for any number of things. As you can see right here, I have added it to quite a few ones. I have done it to my garage door. You can open the garage door. You can turn off my thermostat. You can turn on my downstairs lights. All the sort of stuff, it's very cool. So all you need again is a smart home device that's compatible with Google Assistant a Google Assistant device, and an iOS device running iOS 12 or above with the Google Assistant app and Siri shortcut compatibility. So there you go. That is it. Super simple, easy, and quick. It works fairly nicely, although not as seamless as HomeKit. But for now, it's a decent solution to using all of your smart home devices finally on Siri. If this video helped you out, feel free to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I will see you in the next one.